Your character in the field will carry you to the palace. Maybe you're making a hard decision at work right now, you know, that's costing you extra time and money, but you're like, I will not cut corners. I want to build this thing right. God sees that, and he's going to honor that in the long term. Maybe you're a parent, and you're sowing seeds into your kids every day, you know. The days are short. The years are long. You keep sowing, and eventually, you're going to see a harvest in their lives. You want to set them up for success in life. God sees your investment in them. Maybe you're making a principled choice to tithe on your current income. God sees that, and he promises to pour out blessing on your life. The investment that you're making in your spouse, in faith, you know, maybe you don't see any fruit there. Maybe you don't even think they notice. As long as you don't give up, it's going to reap a harvest. Character transcends your gifts. It transcends your talents. It transcends your strengths. It's who you are. Uh, point one today, if you're taking notes, is character is the cup that carries the anointing. Character is the cup that carries the anointing. David talked about it in Psalm 23, 5 through 6. He says, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. My cup overflows. Why build your character? Because when your cup doesn't leak, your anointing overflows. Come on, as you build your character, you can carry more of what God has for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video or live stream. And hey, don't forget, you can join us live every Sunday right here at 9 and 11. Thanks again for watching.